On this episode of Scott vs. Food, I eat Noor Pasticides Creamy Garlic, sent to me by Noor and Influencer. Finally, proof on YouTube that I'm not a vampire. Garlic. Yes. So, I'll tell you right up front, this is one of the more difficult uh, Scott vs. Foods I've ever had to do because I had to make the food and then just not eat the food and set up all the stuff to then eat the food and I want to eat the food. It's still hot. It's still hot. Set this up fast. But yeah, here's Noor. Pasta sides, they got different flavors. This is the family size version of it. Uh, this is also three quarters of the serving in here. Uh, there's still one quarter left, but I was like, I can't fill the whole bowl because I'll probably stuff it all in my face and eat it. So it serves four per container. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. I'm eating for three right now. Um, and it's a fusilli pasta and a creamy garlic flavored sauce. Haven't done anything to it. Didn't add any salt, pepper, or anything like that. Normally, I would probably add a little something and I'd taste it as I go. But I didn't touch it. Let it be as is. So, um, you know, calories, blah, 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 blah. Takes 11 minutes to cook, roughly. You got to boil the water along with the milk and the butter. Optional or margarine. I put butter in. And um, from that point, it takes 11 minutes. I took a little bit longer because I think it could be more specific on its instructions because it says like, you know, once you boil it, then lower the heat. But you never know if that truly means simmer or if it's like, keep boiling it, keep boiling it. But it took me a little longer, 11 minutes. And then, um, yeah, it's very simple. This seemed like it'd be the perfect college thing. Like you got a kid in college, load them up with these things. Go like, oh, cook that. You're good for a couple of days or just one. Who knows? But it smells incredibly garlicky. Take a look at that. Very garlicky. The noodles are there. Looks fine. Looks good. Looks like good um, pasta in a package type of deal. And uh, take a look at that. Get in close. Take a whiff. Yeah. So yeah. Smells garlicky. Looks very creamy. Seems fine. It's got good uh, consistency. The spoon takes to it ever so well. As I said, it's still piping hot. Don't want to burn the tongue, but we'll see what happens. It's still hot. It's pretty tasty. Hits you with garlic right off the bat. Like, hey, garlic. Garlic powder right in your, right in your nostrils. So one thing I also want to point out with this, when you pop it open and do that, there's no separate pouches and like a lot of these it's like oh the pasta is in here and then you open up the the powder like it's all in one it's pasta and powder like mixed in already so whether it does anything or not i don't know just be forewarned if you get this and you're trying it out so i definitely would add something to this i also think like it needs granted this is what you gotta do you gotta it's like hey we're just a side we're not a whole dish but sometimes you are just a whole dish you know add like a chicken or some sort of protein to it And some pepper. I'm a pepper man, so I'd ask add me some pepper. But it's all right. It's all right. I like it. It's just straight up garlicky pasta. It's not quite an Alfredo, but it's yummy. I'm not gonna lie. Like if it was, you have the big meal, and then this is thrown on the side. Like cool. Zram, zram, zram. I'd be eating it. So it also mentions like you could uh, do this. You could make it a spinach artichoke chicken and pasta. Sure, you could do all that. And if you're, you know, active, motivated, you can do that sort of thing. But yeah, this tastes just fine as a side. Or if you're going to have this as your main, like a not quite mac and cheese, but, you know, a big old thing of pasta that's got some sauce to it. I got it. That's good stuff. Let's knock my socks off. No. I'm wearing my socks. They're on my feet right now, I swear. Uh, but it's pretty good. Amazing? No. But it's pretty darn good. I think for your value, you're getting four servings per container. You get a bunch of that. Like I said, I think really good, like, single. Mm, feels like one of those nights types of food. You know what I mean? Fits the bill perfectly. Because this just happens to be one of those times. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Nor... Creamy garlic, pasticides, have a bite, or oh, you vampire. Thanks so much for watching Scott vs. Box. 
Oh, what a fun time we had. Man, there are more unboxings to come. I assure you, they're all piled up next to me, but they're coming soon. Subscribe so that way you never miss out. Also, be sure to hit the bell so you get a notification whenever there's a new video. And then did you know on Fridays, I do Scott versus food? That's right, I do food reviews. So you'll never miss out on all the good stuff here at Scott versus Box. 